the great advantage of this uh, compared to anything else is it's it's so easy to adjust the speed because if I lift this up the water will speed up coming through the hole you can't see it now because of this I can show the difference without this in it so here's here's the speed without the stone on the far side and there's the speed I think you can see it and there's the stone uh, at the far side and it's going slow and here's the stone near it and it's going fast now but you can see clearly here how high it is coming through the thing and then you see it's hardly going at all now and I just stick this in and it's not very scientific doing that but it gets you a, a nice can slow right down it's got um, rubber bung here and it's um, quarter inch pipe and it goes into the the air pipe for um, air pumps in um, aquariums for the bubbles now we're back down slow again but this is great like apart from i'm just showing you the the problem with it if it ever sinks and you have it in a big rain barrel it goes down and it's gone and this happens sometimes at the bottom when um, when you're when this is near the bottom um, it can tip on whatever's down below and it'll tip sideways and then if you had it in a rain barrel it's not going to rise again but if it was lighter than water it would um, you know if it was a proper float float it would rise again This the screw is deeper down in the water the hole has to be smaller so what I need to do is change this around so that the water inlet hole is much higher in. up so now it's going too fast now I tighten up a little but yeah it's just hard to adjust plus I didn't realize when I had the screws there's a there's a kind of a cut in the side of the screw so it's it's hard to have the difference between zero gap and uh, it, it it's just hard to uh, adjust so I have to work but in this floats like you push it down and it's back up and you push it right down back up in a second so in that respect it's good this is a little bit small it should should be a little wider but um, it um, it floats and that's a requirement I believe but more work on this and it will have the hopefully the same um, capabilities of this which is you know so easily adjustable you just push this this way to slow it down this way to speed it up very very simple and if it was commercialized uh, you probably would have under here you'd have some sort of little um, little sieve thing little filter thing but uh, in my experience like I've had these before and mind you this is city water but I've had them before where it worked for a whole month without uh, any adjustment here's another one so I did adjust this one right and it's the same thing it's um, but see it's just a little bit lightweight it needs to have more heft to it and uh, so I'll make something a bit bigger heftier and um, and uh, then we'll get it going but the same I'll just trip it and I've on this side I've got the um, whole bunch of holes and this side I've only got the holes for the squash so so that other side just fills slowly 
and oh this one's nearly ready to trip too so i'll just show you how this trips yesterday i tried this and i didn't realize there was a piece of a piece of concrete stuck in this because uh, these are recycled from i used to use them on some of my jobs so i'm just going to show you the tripping oh there we go and you get the water along and only for a few seconds and soaks into the ground so it looks like this one is a little fast but um I can, you know, just raise that up a tiny bit. And raise it up a tiny bit. And then it'll, you know, go on to the other parts. So maybe initially it'll have a little bit of adjustment and then uh, it'll be a good system.